Hello Sagittarius, welcome back. It's been a while. How are you, my friends? So we're going to check in with what is coming in for you, what to expect. Uh, this week I won't be having any extended readings as I will be focusing on all the personal readings. So if you've been wanting a personal reading, you may want to get it now as I will be getting it out to you as soon as possible, as well as do a live super chat for you all since I've been promising that for ages. So y'all know I'm still super busy with the whole renovation. So my schedule is a little bit like out of control right now, uh, but I'm really doing my best to get on YouTube. So I'm sorry for the absence lately. Let's see, Sagittarius. Man, I feel like I'm never doing any readings for Sag. Like what is going on in our lives? Like dude, Ooh, nice, really nice stuff. Oh my God. That's a good start, my friend. A new beginning, a clean new slate. You're like, you let go of the past. You've like released whatever you need to release and you're stepping into that hallelujah. It's like the light energy, um, things coming into fruition. This is the sun, man. This is like a beautiful and positive new beginning. Something that you took a risk in and it's going to bring you so much abundance and so much clarity. Um, it's illuminating your path towards the future. It's bringing you abundance and things are going to be wrapping up really fast. The eight of wands is like quick energy, fast movement. Like the eight of wands to me is like you have like these eight goals and you're regulating all these eight goals like one by one. And because you have like this right archer, you just like achieve it, right? Like it's like that's fast energy. Uh, the three of cups is also saying that you're going to have like a big celebration once this is wrapped up, right? And this has been taking a long time. The waiting game is like you've been going around in circles like it may be something that you've been working on for two years and you're finally launching that project. You're finally getting it out into the world with the eight of wands. And it's, it's at the right timing. It's like, it's like divine synchronicity is at play. Divine timing is at play here. So yeah, I like that. Things are growing. Your seeds are growing here. It just takes a little bit of time. Woo. Okay. Look at you sitting at your throne. But what is this? You've got the sun. You've got the page of swords. you got the devil with the nine of swords. And you have the, the, the chariot. And then you're sitting here on the high priestess. Damn, Saj. There might be people that are not that happy with your progress. There might be people that are watching you. Okay, people that are trying to put shade on you, watching you, stalking you. It's definitely someone that is quite obsessive here obsessive of your light and they are stressed out for you to move forward it's like you are elevating to the next stage of your life and someone is watching you and getting so obsessive like this person can't eat or sleep i mean this tree i mean if you are not obsessive about someone this is like the ultimate obsession <laughs> that i am seeing ultimate obsession and you know why i think that it's the other person Simply because you're sitting here on this throne of the Ace of Swords and the Queen of Swords. Because if the deck is closed up with that High Priestess, it's, it's saying that you already know who this is. Someone is like lurking behind the scenes. Someone is watching every move that you're making. They're watching your... Pff, obsessively watching. And it could be someone that is even being very possessive over you, right? With this high priestess, you, you are aware of this. There is this very strong energy of you knowing how to listen to your intuition. Still, it means that there is some type of energy that needs to be cleared out from your, from your energy field. Because 
this person has like some type of distorted energy obviously because they're obsessed with you Saj I mean they might be obsessed with your success they might be obsessed with you being in the spotlights the sun is like you know being in the center of attention or being in the center of growing your seeds and you are eliminating the path for for the rest <clears throat> and also with the chariot it's like you are determined to move forward to leave this situation behind however here we have again five of pentacles five of pentacles is an indication of someone that feels lost without you that misses you We got the justice underneath the sun. The page of swords has the seven of cups. Oh my God, they are trying to find multiple resources. They might be asking multiple people, multiple resources. They might be watching every source. Like, you know, it could be Facebook and then Instagram and then checking your LinkedIn or whatever the case is, TikTok, whatever it is. They are searching for multiple ways and resources. This person is quite in their mind about you leaving them and you probably made a very strict decision here the justice is here saying like well this person treated me wrong and they are now feeling the consequences karma just kind of like moved how do i say that like because if we have the justice and the sun card it actually is an indication that finally the 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 will is kind of like in your favor you you got the forces with you meaning that you are now in the in the light and this person has gotten their karma damn oh the king of cups and the devil i'm telling you this person is so in love like this person is overwhelmed with with their emotions Could be very jealous and possessive again with the with the king of cups that always reminds me of jealousy when i see that with the devil it could be someone that could oof oh my god sag sag this is like a very different reading of all the readings that i've done today king of cups to the ace of cups This person feels like there is unconditional love and that you should be accepting their love offer. Like, damn. Nine of Swords is the lovers. They, they are so stressed up about you choosing someone else in love. That you have someone else that um, is as crazy about you as they are. This person is losing their mind with the lover's card. Like, they want to be in union. They're stressed out. They're seeing you as, like, a huge inspiration. Too many cards. And the Eight of Wands, I see you again with the Chariot moving away. And, I mean, like, there could be a communication or a distance here between the both of you. They might be trying to communicate. But I feel like you've already, you're already, already driving. You're, like on the highway i'm hearing tony braxton like uh hit the hit the free road hit the freeway oh wow that's a, that's a nice song hit the freeway y'all okay so on top of the uh justice card which is all about karma we have the seven of swords and the five of swords so in the past this person was sneaky this person was uh trying to you know use you in some type of sense they were not being honest they were being very selfish and they did some things behind your back or in front of you i'm sorry for the lightning it's just too much sun but this got eliminated right like you saw it happening you were strong enough to move yourself away from the situation because obviously this person did not take accountability for what they did right the seven of swords is like 
doing something underhanded and then running away. It's not not coming forward with like an apology. And now they feel like you got away. Like, Saj, you got away. They want to have a second chance. I believe that this is the first sign that is really talking about the other person. Like, none of the signs were really talking about love. But for you, Saj, something very... I mean, it does not have to be love, right? It could still be someone that... Um, that is in your surrounding that has been behaving like this. They love you. It's a water sign. But they did you wrong. They did you dirty. They did you dirty, dirty. You are called upon to help with environmentalism. So getting more in tune with Mother Nature. And... Getting more out in nature, that's definitely something that we all need to do, <laughs> including myself, because lately I've been not on my schedule with that, but this is definitely a sign from nature saying that you need to get more in tune. Uh, going back to this situation, love yourself enough to say no to others demanding on your time and energy, having strict and high boundaries, meaning that this person is trying to demand something from you like they want you to love them at all costs like yes i've been acting shady and i've been acting uh sneaky but sad you have to love me you have to that's the type of energy that i'm getting and it's like you saying like no 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 that ain't going to happen my friend because you have now a high boundary you're like i'm not tolerating anyone to take more of my energy so let them stress. Uh, unconditional love. Love yourself and others and every situation, no matter what the outward appearance may be. Hmm. Well, take that however this resonates for this situation. I'm not sure what, um, what that means. Like you need to accept them for who they are. <laughs> Page of Cups, oh gosh. Well, they have some innocence within them. But they need to come forward with an apology, absolutely. They've been pondering, wondering when, they've been waiting to tell you some type of truth in regards to their own deception. They feel like they need to admit something to you. And I feel like very suddenly they will come in because they don't want to lose you. They feel like there is this unconditional love. They miss you not being around them. And then we have the judgment. So this is someone that is absolutely going to be asking for a new beginning after a long period of time. And this is something that they've been thinking about for a long time. So it's going to be up on you what you're going to do with that. Whether you're going to accept their apology. They're going to sweet talk you. Absolutely. Expect powerful change. So this, this whole could have been like a karmic cycle with them. It's about to change and shift. And it's going to happen on a new moon. Surrender to the divine. Okay, so this says that a lot of things are going to be unfolding. A lot of changes are going to be made internally and externally. And sometimes you may not know how to react on things, but you're being, you're being asked to kind of like take a step back and to allow things to unfold. If this person wants to speak up about how they feel or if they want to apologize or be sweet and innocent, maybe give them the chance, but don't give them more than their fair share right give them the opportunity to talk give them the opportunity to express themselves um mm. again like a lot of light energies here we got morning affirmation have an attitude of gratitude and held time to look after yourself so for some of you I, I just said that to one of the signs, I believe it was Virgo or Libra, <clears throat> having, for me, 
I start with evening affirmations. So it's funny because it says morning, but me personally, when I have like a lot of things to do, before I go to sleep, I just repeat everything that I need to do. And I just demand it on myself. Like, okay, tomorrow you're going to do this, this, and this. As if like there's a boss in my head telling me like, okay, what I need to do, what my list is. Uh, even if I have written that list, <clears throat> before I go to sleep, I just repeat that list in my head. And I make sure that the next morning when I wake up, I take that responsibility and I do it. So for me, that always works because when I wake up in the morning I, and I have done that list in my head, I tackle it all the way through. So this might be something that you need to do. For others of you, this might be your morning routine that you need to do. Write down all the things that you want to get finished today uh, or the week and focus on that okay uh, with the help there's also a need for you to eat better to focus on your diet to focus on exercising to get out there into nature connecting with mother earth and again we have this resistance card with change someone is resisting a change here I feel like this might be talking about this person that has been holding on to toxic patterns and not opening up, just being a little bit on the on the outskirt of your life, tapping into your life, being very obsessive and holding on to some type of grudge from the past, whereas they actually truly love you and they need to kind of like let go of their grudge in order for that change to happen. And I feel like with the judgment... Um, they're coming out of an illusion. They're coming out of their own deceptive ways. They are starting to realize that something that they did was not kosher. That was not uh, the way that you were supposed to be treated. And it feels like it's already too late with that justice. Because it feels like you stepped away and then some type of karmic energy happened to them. It could be because they were, you know, they run to someone else or they want to, to be with someone else. And and then they came to realization like, oh my God, this person is not the one and I'm getting my karma, right? Um, it's that type of energy and now they're starting to realize like, okay, something really needs to change. I need to let go of resisting, um, telling Saji that I love them. <laughs> like that's the type of energy that I'm getting. Let's see, last but not least with the yin and yang oracle. And oh, by the way, you have this golden opportunity here. Important doors are opening for you. So that's a new beginning, a new world, a new era, a new foundation. It's about to be, it, it's about to come to you. Oh, the ego card. Yes, 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 yes. This person is holding on to their own ego. They've been doing things out of vanity and pride. Yeah, detachment, cold, and assistance, spirit guides. I feel like you detaching from the situation, acting super cold, it just made this person go crazy because now they are getting the downloads and the epiphanies and they're getting the assistance from their spirit guides that's showing them that they made the wrong judgment call. Okay, that's what I'm getting. One more. Party. This person, the last time that you saw them was at a party or this could be someone from your external environment, your friends, your group of people, um, someone that you party a lot with. That could be the person as well. Okay, that's what I have for you, my friends. I hope that this reading resonated. Let me know by dropping a like and a comment. And if you need any of my uh, personal readings or items or oils, whatever you need, Extended readings, they're all in the description box or simply at theillustluminator.com. And I'll catch you guys soon. Take care.